What is up, YouTube? This is Zach, Dream Media Home Theater. And I'm Larry with SVS. And we're out here making a cool little video for you guys here today. If you're one of my subscribers, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. We're going to be discussing the SoundPath wireless audio adapter. This is primarily being sold for transmission of wireless uh, to your subwoofer if you can't run a physical line, but we're going to discuss some other applications as well. All right, we'll do it right after this intro. All right, Larry, so tell me about this thing. So for years, we had offered a what we call the wireless subwoofer kit, and it was really marketed just for subwoofers, but there are a lot of applications for wireless. And so early last year, we introduced this new kit, the SoundPath Wireless Audio Adapter. And the reason we don't call it subwoofer kit any longer is because it can be used for so many different things. And Basically, the way it's able to do that is because of the signal transmission that it's capable of, all the different hookup options you have, and now there's a lot of different flexibility to how you can utilize wireless in your home. So what you get in a box with these, you get a transmitter and a receiver, which Zach's got right here in his hands, power for them, which is a micro USB cord with a USB cable, and then there's also USB power blocks, which we've got right here for each of them as well. So you don't have to worry about running a separate cord, just plug it into USB like you would a phone or anything else, and it will receive signal. And then it also comes with two sets of cables, two pairs of cables, two separate pairs actually, one that's mono to use for a subwoofer, and then you'll also see the left and right stereo cable. So we've got the mono cable for subwoofer use and the stereo cable for two channel applications because you can use this, like I said, for more than just subwoofers. You have two of each in there? So you do have two of each. So you okay. get two mono cords, two stereo cords. So we've got those right there in the box. So your stereo, or sorry, your mono yep. for subwoofer applications, left and right stereo for stereo applications, and we'll get into what that can be for. You get two of the USB power blocks, two of the micro USB cables, and then you get some 3M sticky tape so that if you wanted to, as we were talking earlier, stick one to the back of your subwoofer or on the back of your AV rack, wherever you're putting your uh, the transmission side They're of this super kit. light. Yeah, and there's nothing to it. And they are plug and play. There's nothing you have to do to it. Maybe you've got a room where you can't run subwoofers, cables at all, and you've got two subs. You can actually do three of these off of one transmitter. So you could have three wireless subwoofers in a space all coming off of one, and it doesn't even have to be subwoofers. Uh, it can be three different sets of powered speakers that you need to get signal to. So you've got a lot of flexibility with this product because it's not just limited to low frequency output, because it can go all the way down to six hertz and then get really high in the kilohertz range as well. It's great for turntables, if you've got a turntable with a pre-out. If you want to hook it up to powered speakers to transmit signal wirelessly from one space to another, you can. If you want to use it for headphones, which is something I used it for for a while, my wireless headphones that I use at night busted last year, and I was being very picky on a new pair, and so I just hooked this up. I hooked the transmitter up to my headphone jack onto my receiver, and then I put the receiver end back on my uh, nightstand powered it up and then I just plugged my headphone cord right there and I had full capability, full control of my headphones, even though they were wired, I now have made them wireless. So you've got a lot of opportunity with this to use it for different applications. But first and foremost, people do use this as a subwoofer transmitter. So if you look at your room, you can run into French doors, you can run into open concept living spaces, you can have a big window, you can have tile floors. You can't get a wire to wherever it needs to go for the best possible placement in your room. That's where the wireless kit comes into play. And these things are super reliable, guys. I've actually used it several times now. Uh, there's just so many situations to where maybe it is possible to get the line down the wall, but is it worth $119 or potentially $1,000 in sheetrock repair? They don't drop out. They don't skip. No. It's solid. So it's a great solution versus tearing up your walls. Yeah, we, we have customers that use three, four, five. There was a gentleman in Chicago a few weeks back that got 10 of these to use for an application with powered speakers throughout his house. Oh, wow. And in lieu of using networking and stuff because of the way his house was done, this was his best solution. 10? Yeah, and we were boggling our heads wow. trying to figure out why you need a 10. And we <laughs> talked to him, and he's just got a transmitter that he's running on different sides of his house. What's the range on this? I. So my home, I live in the Dallas area, two-story home, 2,400 square feet. 
It has worked in every room. I've taken headphones with a battery pack, put it in my pocket, and walked around the house to see how it worked, and it worked in every room. We say 50, 60 feet is optimal, but if you're not running a bunch of stuff that's gonna cause interference, you shouldn't really Yeah, 50 to 60 work. feet is plenty. Yes. That's a big room, yeah. guys. So. so most of your rooms, this is gonna be in a room. It'll be within 10, 20, 30 feet, so you shouldn't run into any issues at all. Uh, we don't recommend putting them right next to a wireless router because as you know, a lot say. of wireless products, <laughs> they, they can interfere. But beyond that, this thing has just been rock solid. And this is the kit that I travel with, and some of you have seen me out there. I go all over the country with this, and it's just loose in the box, and it works every single time I open it, every single time I plug it in, whether I'm in a room this size or a large auditorium, it just works. And so the way it works, let's get into that, yeah. is you plug it in for power. So I'm gonna steal this out of here real quick. So you have two pieces. You have the transmitter, which will go back at your source side. So that's where your AVR comes into play, your surround sound processor, turntable, CD player, whatever you're trying to transmit the signal from, that's obviously where the transmitter goes. You plug it in for power, and then you'll see the line output, which just looks like a headphone jack, and that's where you will plug in one of the two cords. Either the mono cable for subwoofer, like for your LFE. Yep. For your single mono out. Or do stereo if you're doing a stereo application. Say headphone, or headphone can do it, but uh, you probably wouldn't use that for headphone, but you could do that for headphones. Then you've got, um, say, turntable, CD player. If you really are trying to do surround sound in a space and you can't run wires from front to back, this could be an option as well, which we will talk about uh, probably in a secondary video. Yeah, we're gonna make another video about that. That was actually a really cool solution. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys. I, I have so many people that constantly reach out and ask me about uh, what should I do in the rear of the room. That's gonna be an interesting video. We're gonna show you to do it kind of affordably too, because wireless surround sound is not cheap, as we all know. So you plug in your transmitter, and let's just say I'm doing this. Pretend I have power here, and I'm gonna plug this to the LFE subwoofer output on my receiver. So there, now I'm transmitting wirelessly. You'll see the signal start blinking on the wire. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up the receiving end of this piece. And if you have the new 2000 Pro or 3000 series subwoofers, I can plug it in right here. And let's pretend I'm not having trouble with that. Plug that in, and you'll see that our 2000 Pro and 3000 series have a USB port on the back. I was wondering. Specifically to power the receiver end of this thing. Very nice. So I don't have to find somewhere to plug in a block, especially if I'm maybe back in a room in the, behind a couch or something like that and I can't get to another outlet. That's my solution. It plugs in and powers right there. If you have any other brand of subwoofer in the world and you don't have that opp opportunity, it comes with a USB power block, you plug that in, then you hook up the output, and if this was uh, all connected right now, right now I would be receiving signal from my transmitter right here and I would have wireless subwoofer connection. I think that's really cool because with us as a custom integration company, it's clean. You know, we, we don't want extra wires. I don't care if it's one extra wire. We want to minimize that and make it look as good as possible. And because it has a phenomenal frequency response, there's no limitations you're going to have to, whether you're using it for a subwoofer, turntable, CD player, you name it, you're going to be able to play everything you want to play without loss, and there is no delay, it's instantaneous, and you can see the comments of people on these everywhere that buys them, they just flat out work, they work phenomenally well, and $119.99 it's one of the more affordable options out there too. So. Cool. Well, I think that's about a wrap, guys. I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video and found it informative and in helping you guys make a buying decision. We do offer everything that SBS has to offer, and we are your go-to home theater store. If you're doing a system, give us a call. We'd love to help you out. Just show your support. If you like this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below. This is Zachary Media Home Theater and Larry with SBS. Thanks for watching, guys.